There are four basic fakes that you can do with the jab. Number one is you fake the jab low and then you jab high. Number two is you fake the jab high and then you jab low. Number three is you fake the jab out and then you jab in. And the fourth one is you fake the jab out this side and then jab in side as well. So up, down, down, up, left, right, right, left. To make it easier for your students so that they don't get confused, maybe just do one at a time. So round number one can be low to high, plus normal jab sparring. So we're still jab sparring, but at any point I can do the fake down to the body, um, jab to the head, so, so control. So we're still jab sparring. Do love that, that works great against Tommy. <laughs> we'll just have a go. And then I'll fake my own hit up. I'm gonna, that's my round number one. <laughs> round number two. High to low. So Tommy fakes up high, so my hands come up, and then continues low. Remember not to fully retract your hands. You don't want to go out, retract, down, it takes too long. Kind of go out halfway and then change the direction of the punch, making sure you have good guard and structure. So we're still jab firing. Ah, straight away. <laughs> right on the solar plexus as well. So nice win for Tommy on that one. So you don't go all the time, because if he just goes all the time, I'm going to start working out and we'll start countering. So, Fakes need to be surprises, so they need to be done infrequently. And I need to make sure I can defend in a way that is structurally safe and sound. Um, round number three, out to in. So this is often like you're kind of throwing a fake hook that then turns into a jab. It's a really sneaky technique. You go out and down the middle. How much out you go depends on how sensitive the person is to the fake. Some people you can just go like this and kind of wiggle your hand like you're going to throw a hook and then go down the middle. Other people you almost need to touch them and then change it. So round number three. Tommy's going straight for it, I can see. <laughs> he, I did it, but he, he blocked it, so that's good. Almost. It made me react a little bit. Yeah, got him. <laughs> it's, it's, look over here, point. <laughs> and the last one, round number four, is you kind of almost faking like a back fist. So this side, this side, and then you're coming down the middle. So I'm coming to the side, coming to the side, and then coming down the middle. So normal jab sparring as well. Now, just one thing to mention, I can get away with certain things because of the jab sparring. Meaning, I can do this because I know Tommy can throw his rear hand. But if he could throw his rear hand, I need to be a bit more careful. So I wouldn't be quite so checky. I'd be, I would do it if I keep my chin down and I'd be ready to win, but we'll get into that later on. Here we go. Yes! I'm stopping there. <laughs> so, it's coming to the outside of the line and then coming back through the middle. Yes, perfect. See how I, I over parried again? And then went on the other side of it. Then last round, put them all together. Low to high, high to low, left to right, right to left. Obviously, it changes if you're in a south pole lead. So you're trying now to focus on landing your, <laughs> landing your, <laughs> landing your face. You know, we get the same idea. Good. Poor defense on my behalf there. I faked him and went to the body jab, but I didn't have anything up on this side of my head. He popped me right in the eyeball. So, generally on a body jab, you want to have the rear hand come up as a defense against the head jab returning. So that was my poor technical error that allowed Tommy to land his shots. Nice. Oh, <laughs> such a good one. He's killing me with this one. So he faked the back fist, my lead hand went out to check it and then he circled it around. I just managed to walk it. I'm gonna have to uh, sort myself out now. Here we go. Boy! <laughs> Revenge has been served. So that's using different variations of the jab fake in your sparring.